right, Jason. It looks like we are indeed ready to restart ma finals match number three. Jumping the gun a little bit in that last try. I'm getting thumbs up from our referees, so let's give this one more shot. Finals three in three, two, one, go! And with the 45 seconds, we start off with the Skyrise building. Once again, red and blue racing each other. They're neck in neck. And as always, they've already pre-scored one at the very base of their Sky Rises. So it looks like Aura's pulling ahead just by a little bit. Both of them lifting their arms up with the three stack. The blue alliance is first to get down. The red alliance comes in right behind them. And we're going to finish off the stack. There's still 15 seconds left in the autonomous period. Aura managing to get their three this time. Looks like the same thing happened to QCC2. As they raise their arms up high, can they get it on? Oh! Two go off for Aura. And that'll give the Blue Alliance the autonomous bonus as we move to driver control in three, two, one, go! Oh, an incredible minor error that would normally be easy for any alliance to get over here in the finals. Man, it's going to be tough for Aura to catch up with those 10 minutes, 10 points given to the Blue Alliance and that powerful scoring machine, the Blue Rooster uh, from QCC2. Oh, Aura's choking there. They pull the cube a little bit too far up. They're going to have to knock that cube over. No, they decide they're going to go for some pure points now. Down three. Blue Alliance owning one, two, three, four of the goals now. And you can see this game is purely offense right now. Both alliances focusing on getting as many cubes up as possible. And Big Mac now being guarded by QCC2. Three go down for the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance holding back the Red Alliance. As Mech Chicken tries to keep QCC in the corner, Big Mac is being held in the corner by the Blue Rooster. Up high goes one more cube for the Blue Alliance with five seconds left on the match. It's anyone's game. Three, two, one, and time! Absolutely incredible way to finish off the Vex U division. Paul, tell me about what you saw. What I just saw, I think, was the first U.S. team to win the Vex U division. That's what I just saw. And it all came down to flawless execution in autonomous mode. Both teams are amazing. Aura has been the team to beat all year in Vex U. They dominated during the division play. They were excellent on the field today. Just some small minor errors and some flawless execution by QCC is really what made the difference. QCC had to play their best to beat the best, and they did it. And they probably, probably will be the next Vex U world champions, but we still have to count the score. We need the tallies. Let's see some replay. The overhead shot, the triple-triple, both alliances making their huge skyrise sections. Remember, this is autonomous, and here's the difference maker. Aura gets stuck up on the top, drops two of their cubes. Their third cube gets stuck on the top. That right there was the difference in the match. So, let's see the scores. Your new Vex U World Champion, QCC2 from Worcester, Massachusetts, United States. Karthik, back to you.